What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. I'm about to play the pronoun game because I feel like it, but I think everybody can relate to this particular topic because they either grew up with this particular person or they're now hanging out with this particular person. And now I'm about to tell you the particular person. Um, The compulsive liars that, you know, I guess it explains it that uh, definition for it. <laughs> I guess the definition speaks for itself, but looking back from, you know, my childhood up until now, the small group of friends that I did have, because, you know, I definitely was not a cool kid. Well, I guess I didn't have <laughs> the, the high school definition of friends. You know, I always had a small little circle, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Scratch that. But, in the small group of people that I did hang out with, there was always this one kid that just compulsively lied about everything. You know, he used to lie about uh, the girls that he slept with, the toys that he had, the car that he was claiming that he was getting, and his upbringing. And, you know, I was naive then you know, because I would believe everything. I'd be like, oh, for real? You know, such and such and such and such. But I look back at it now, and, you know, I had this really cool toy, and I was damn proud of it. I was I was very happy for it. And, you know, when I talked to him about it, he was like, yeah, I have one, and my dad has one. And I was like, for real, bro? Such and such and such and such. And uh, I was like, hey, you should bring yours so we could battle. And every time, you know, I would ask him about it, he'd be like, oh, I don't have it, I don't have it. You know, I was naive then, but I look back at it. I look at back at that now, and you know, he was a little compulsive liar. But as we got older, you know, I saw him a little later on in life, and he was still, he was still, you know, just lying about bull crap. You know, he lied about the girls that he claimed that he slept with. When he, you know, he lied about a girl that was like ten feet away from him that he claimed that he slept with. And you know, I went back and asked, you know. And she was like, I have no idea who that is. Now, granted, you're really not supposed to because the first, the first rule is don't kiss and tell. And two, even if that other person is, you know, either if one of them are lying, it still makes the whole situation look bad. But, you know, that's just one prime example. But as I, you know, every year I got a little older, I hung out with, you know, a certain group of friends, and there was always this one kid who was just compulsively lying about everything, and it's like, I'm not anybody to impress, believe me, you know, if we bond, and you respect me, and I respect you, I'll hang out with you, but I talk about this topic because I'm pretty sure there's at least one one person that everybody grew up that just grew up with that just compulsively lied about everything or you either are that person or you you know for the people that hang out with the compulsive liars you're now in that certain state with that person or a certain situation with that person or certain time in life with that person that's what I'm trying to get at and you know now that I've drawn the conclusion after you know gaining a little wisdom I think they lie because they feel the need to exalt themselves because they're so insecure about what they don't have. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. But I'm going to play both sides of the card right now, or at least, you know, play both sides of everything in this situation. For the compulsive liars, if you do tell the truth and that person that, you know, or people that you hang out with can't accept you for the money that you have or the money that you don't have or the girls that you haven't slept with or have slept with or your upbringing, don't hang out with them because a true friend loves you for who you are. And let's play the other side. For the people that can't accept a person for how much money that they have how much money they don't have or the girls that they have and have not slept with or they're upbringing, if you can't accept that person for who they truly are, don't hang out with them. And the, you know, the contradiction is, well, if they're a compulsive liar, 
then I should hang out with them because I accept the fact that they're compulsive liars. Hey, if you can deal with that, that's you. But for me, tell the truth because I respect you a whole lot bet more, you know, if you just come forth and say, hey, this happened, this didn't happen, or, you know, I don't have this or have such and such, because once you start, you know, people expect certain things whenever you tell them certain things or, you know, they come to expect that. And when you turn around and, and start quizzing, quizzing them or asking questions or asking where this such and such is, is, such and such is, and you go, oh, yeah, I don't have it. You know, people lose a little respect for that. And I know I do when people lie for no reason. And then I come back and ask them a question and they turn around and go, yeah, that didn't happen. I lose respect for that. Or, or I lose respect for people. But fair warning to the people that do hang out with compulsive liars. And this is just me. Like I said, you know, my thoughts are not necessarily universal. It's just my viewpoint to the universe. <laughs> but for the people that do hang out with compulsive liars, I think you should stop because they're going to say something and you're going to ask them something and it's just going to blow up. Or if something go down, either they going to lie. If something serious goes down, either they going to lie or they going to start snitching. And you always want a friend that's going to be 100 with you and have your back at all times. So, you know, that's kind of just my fair warning from my viewpoints because I'm not dealing with that anymore. You know, if you can't tell me the truth about small things, I know you're not going to be truthful about, you know, larger things in life. So with that being stated, this is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing.